Welcome to our Scala programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with data types in Scala. Our viewer is trying to solve Cadility's genomic range query challenge and has run into a type mismatch issue. Let's dive into the details. The viewer has written a function that processes genomic data, but the for comprehension returns an indexed seek of any val instead of the required array of int. This is causing a type mismatch error. So, how can we convert that indexed seek into an array? Let's explore the solution together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the problem. You have a function that processes genomic data and returns an index seek, but you need it to return an array of integers. To convert an indexed seek to an array, you can use the toArray method. This will transform your indexed seek into an array of the specified type. Now let's modify your function. After the for comprehension, we will call toArray to convert the result into an array int. This change ensures that your function now returns the correct type, resolving the type mismatch error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert an index seek of any val to an array of int in Scala, you can use the toArray method. This is straightforward. However, be cautious with if-else statements as they might return both int and unit types, leading to a common ancestor of any val. If you switch to pattern matching instead of if-else, the compiler will warn you if you don't handle all cases. This ensures that every possible scenario is accounted for. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. convert an index seek of any val to an array of int in Scala, you can use a for comprehension. This approach iterates over the indices of the input arrays and checks for specific characters in a substring. It's important to note that the if statement lacks a default value, which can lead to an index seek of any instead of int. Make sure to handle all cases to avoid this issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert index seek of any val to an array of int in Scala, there are two main issues to address. First, using p indices gives you a range instead of an array. You can fix this by adding dot to array at the end. The second issue is with your if statement. If all conditions are false, it returns unit. To resolve this, add a default case like else minus one. Alternatively, if the default case should never occur, 
consider throwing an exception to inform the next programmer. This can be done with an illegal argument exception. Remember, throwing an exception has a type of nothing, which helps with type inference in Scala. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.